Hi, this is James Abraham with Warehouse Lighting. We're going to take apart a T12 fixture, strip it down, and change it into either a uh, T8 4 lamp, uh, LED, a T8 4 lamp uh, fluorescent. The first thing to do here is to strip the fixture down and take all the components out, which we're going to be doing right now. And then we'll show you two different videos, one of the LED and one of the fluorescent. So first we're going to start disassembling the fixture by taking it apart here, taking the ballast covers off. Taking out our center brackets and our end brackets. Of course, this is going to be hanging upside down when you do it, but this is just the easiest way to do it. And then we're going to remove the ballast. Now that we just have a uh, stripped down fixture, we have a power lead that I'm just using a cable for right now to represent uh, what's going to be there when you're hanging a direct wire from the ceiling. Um, but now that it's totally stripped down, we're going to take the first option, which is convert it to LED. When converting a 8-foot uh, fixture to an LED, there's two kits you can buy from us. One is an RX-8 kit, and the other is a kit with a CS bracket or an adjustable bracket. When doing this, you need to measure the outside or the OD dimension of your fixture to figure out exactly what size is going to be appropriate. We also have kits that are already standard size to a 4 and 4 thirds. Um, which you can just basically tuck screw to the side of the fixture. In our kits, you're either going to get this bracket, which you break apart and you install one section on one end of the fixture, this section goes into the middle of the fixture, and this section goes to the other end of the fixture. The other kit that you are going to, uh, that you possibly could get, would be a CS bracket kit, which shows. basically has a flat plate and then it's got two adjustable arms to it that slide in and adjust to the width of the fixture. So really can go up to pretty much about a six inch fixture I think it is or a five and a half inch fixture as you can see by the little hole. Then, with the kits you're going to receive, on an 8-foot kit, you're going to receive 8 tech screws. You're going to receive tombstones. Uh, these particular tombstones are what's called unshunted. They are used for LED conversions. Um, it's basically got four holes on the bottom. And the parts you need to bring to the party yourself are either wire to connect the fixture together and uh, wire nuts.
When converting an 8-foot fixture, you really want to divide the fixture in half and start with the center brackets, um, really at that center point, because you're going to need to measure the bulb spout out to both ends. So, with the center, on the CS brackets, you would basically need two CS brackets. And those brackets are going to face outward. You can see my uh, measured this fixture in half already. There's the center mark. Put together another bracket. And it depends on how many lamps that you want in this fixture. If you're going to want four lamps, four four-foot lamps, you basically want to face the two tombstone centers to the inside of where your mark is. So basically a tombstone is going to point this way and a tombstone is going to point this way. I'll show you. Make sure these kits are directly center. On an LED conversion, two of the centers are going to be dummies. They're not going to have any wires going to them at all. All they are is basically sockets. We have those put together, we have them centered, we're then going to proceed to wire the sockets, the two center sockets on the one end, because you have the power end, which is over here, is where we're going to start our power, and then we're going to move them to the far center brackets for the LED conversion. When wiring these center sockets, what I usually use is the pre-existing wire so we recycle what wire is there. You can use wire cutters for this or you can pull them out of the sockets. I find wiggling them seems to work pretty well. piece of black. Piece of white. You can even use your wire knife if you want to. Discard this piece. You can also use this to run that center wire too. What I do is I usually start with the far end that has the power. We're going to also put another kit on that end. And these are unshunted sockets for a single end power LED lamp. Which is the most popular now being that they're UL listed. Again, assemble the bracket. Before you tech screw the brackets down, what I like to do is wire the brackets first. Adjust them, make sure they're centered. Okay. What we've got is our power leads here. Of course our ground is going to go around ground. We can put that later. And we've got 
black and white. What I'm using is a cord right now to simulate the power lead you have coming into your fixture. What I'll do is I'll grab the white wire. What I'll do is cut that wire to length. We can also use this extra wire as our jumper from tombstone to tombstone. I tried to give it some length so we'd have a little extra. Oops. issue with getting the darn thing cut. Some wires like this can be rigid from time. There we go. We're going to take our white lead, tie it into our white power. A lot of electricians will uh, electrical tape that in too. And what you're going to do is you're going to start with the far end and you're going to plug in the wire from the power or the neutral. And you're going to do the same thing with your black. Plug this one into the opposite spot on the tombstone. Now, to get it to run from tombstone to tombstone, you're going to take a smaller piece of wire and what's called jumper it to the next row of tombstones. And you'll go into the first tombstone spot. Now from black, I'm going to make sure you use the same colors, jumper it to the black. And white. Same thing. Now, we're going to jump up from the first white. Being that these are only single end power, this is the only end you're going to have to worry about on this side. 
to the first white. From the second white to the first white on the next tombstone. Now, you're going to have to run this line all the way to the other or to the center of the next run of tombstones. And a lot of this stuff you can already pre-prepare on the ground and then put the kit up as you're lifting the fixture, as you've got the fixture up. So on the next one, I want to make sure we've got enough line. We're going to have to pull some more line. Okay, now to show you how the jumper goes from one section of the fixture to the next. We're going to take this. We need two jumpers here. I'm using a different color. I'm using blue to go all the way to the other end. But one's coming from the white side and one's coming from the black side. This side is actually technically done. We just want to remember which side, um, especially when I'm using the same color wire, is going to the other. This blue wire is coming from our white side. And we're going to use a jumper the same way we did on the other side. We're going to jump one side to the adjacent. And then we're going to jump the other wire to one side. Being that these are marked as halfway, we can tech screw. As long as we keep it centered, we can tech screw the center into the fixture. So on with the other bracket. Okay, now attaching uh, the end bracket. Um, what you do is you basically take one lamp. And that's what I do. I bring it to the end of where that lamp is, and this bracket is adjustable to be slid back and forth. And then what I do is I tech screw the bracket down, and then I make the adjustments afterwards. 
to make sure it's snug on both ends. So one thing you want to consider, the first thing I did was I hooked up the power just because the power was off. But if the power is on, you definitely want to leave it off, but you shouldn't be hooking anything up with the power on. Now that you have the extension of the first run, you can actually twist in the bulbs and make sure they're snug. Okay, we're going to take it out from here and we're going to do the other end, which is actually a dummy end to the fixture. And I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, this end bracket on the other end of the fixture, and just so you know, on the center, it depends on where your wire comes into the fixture. You would maybe not have to use um, the extension wires if the power was coming into the center of the fixtures because you could make the center tombstones, both the hot tombstones. But on this end, there's going to be no wires. It's All it's used for is to hold the lamps in place. So you're going to tech screw that bracket down. And you want to make sure it's measured out with one of your lamps. From end to end. And you want to make sure you tech screw it in. Same with this side. Again, these brackets are adjustable. There's a problem, you can slide it back and forth. Now, it depends on what you bought with your fixture. If you bought reflectors or if you brought uh, ballast covers, you're going to install those on the fixture itself to, uh, to cover up everything that's inside, per UL regulations. And those will be installed with what are called quarter turns, which are these here. You're going to use those in the center. Turn it down. You're going to repeat on both sides of the fixture. What this put on makes it look like a brand new fixture. Now that we have those in, we can start installing the lamps. Installation of the lamps is easy. What you want to do is find what end is the positive charge to end. You're going to slide them in like a regular T8. These are our 20 watt LEDs, DLC rated.
Now when powering the unit up, of course it's going to be hooked up to the top of your ceiling. For today, all I did was hook up a cord so that you guys could see uh, what it looked like when it was powered up. Again, this is our 20 watt LEDs, DLC rated. I'm going to plug this in. And now you can see how it looks when it's turned on. There's other options you can get with this kit, which is a white reflector or a mirrored reflector, which is 95%. It pushes 95% of the light out of the fixture and down to the floor. Um, on an LED, it's not so necessary because it's more directional than a regular fluorescent is, and it doesn't have the total circumference of light that a fluorescent does. But this has been a quick lesson, and let us know if you have any questions, and we'll be glad to help you out with any uh, retroing you have to do. Uh, the next video that we're going to do is retroing it to a uh, fluorescent. Have a great day. Thanks. You can call us at 888-454-4480. Thanks, James Abraham with Warehouse Lighting.